Hello, and welcome to Field of Bronze Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called STP Root Guard. Root Guard is a Cisco proprietary feature which protects the spanning tree topology from changing when unexpected superior BPDUs appear. A switch port with root guard on it will move into the root inconsistent state if it detects superior BPDUs. In this state, the switch port will not forward any frames. Root guard can be enabled on a per port basis only. However, the port will return to forwarding state after the superior BPDUs stop. We have been watching BPDUs coming from the root switch to the backup switch and to the test switch. Now let's turn on the unauthorized switch to view how it takes over the spanning tree topology by making itself the root switch. Notice that the BPDUs are now originating from the unauthorized switch and not from the root switch anymore. This has caused a change in the spanning tree topology. The spanning tree guard root command configures root guard on a specific interface. The root switch is sending superior BPDUs to the backup switch and the test switch. Suppose an unauthorized switch is connected to the test switch with superior BPDUs. The superior BPDUs will force the other switches to accept the unauthorized switch as the root switch and change the spanning tree topology. Let's set up root guard on all the test switches ports that should never have other switches connected to them. Now, if we connect the unauthorized switch to the test switch, its ports will go into the root inconsistent state. The unauthorized switch can no longer change the spanning tree topology. We have just looked at a method that can be used to ensure that an unauthorized switch will not modify the spanning tree topology of a network. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.